what they essentially do is is steam it up, uh, help shrink the plastic so that they can separate it. You know, using uh, spinning techniques and flotation mm-hmm. and various other uh, technologies that really break it back down into the the parts that you can reuse. And so it, you don't end up putting things into a dump. It goes through this process, and you recover it all, more or less, or ninety percent of it. Yeah, more or less. They're 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 aiming for ninety percent diversion. And when you're looking at all the packaging and stuff that we're doing nowadays, the average person is producing way more than they used to with all this direct to consumer uh, packaging and stuff like that. Yeah. So is there any other jurisdiction using this process? Do you have any concerns whether it will work or not? Has it been proven? So this has been operating for several years uh, out in uh, Nova Scotia. I first heard about these guys actually in 2018. I sort of forgot about them for a little bit as we were looking through many different uh, avenues. And then uh, our CAO uh, had been talking with these guys and brought them forward. And uh, we were glad to be working with them. So as you say, you looked at a whole bunch of different possibilities. Why did you decide to go down this route? Well, it's just, it wins on so many uh, fronts. You know, choose your buzzword. This one this one will beat the rest of them. It's a, when you're looking at waste to resource rather than, you know, diversion, it's cheaper if you're going to try and do all the source separating yourself. Uh, it eliminates the need for your blue boxes, for example. You can just put, throw everything in. You take your entire oh, really? green plastic garbage bag and you, you throw it in. You can put the recycle symbol on a dumpster now. Really? That's that's uh, that's fascinating because obviously the way Edmonton is set up with all our there are two bins and that sort of thing, this goes against that 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 sort of flow, right? Yeah, you can you can save lots of money. There'll still be some opportunity to divert things that are easy to do. Uh, some of the organics. What about the cost compared to what you're doing now? So compared to what we're doing now, uh, this will be about the same as what we're doing. But when you look at other municipalities that are doing some of the more intensive diversions and have a higher tipping fee maybe at their landfill, mm-hmm. it'll be substantially cheaper. So it wins on that front as well.